Hey, it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna check out everything that's new in the second developer beta of iOS 15. So without a further ado, let's roll the video. Before we begin taking a look at everything that's new in this update, let's talk about the update first. It was an update of 1.71 GB on my iPhone XR which of course may vary from phone to phone. So the very first new thing that was added with this update is the new icon for the Maps app. With the second beta of iOS 15, we get an icon redesign for the Maps app and this one was shown during the WWDC event. And along with the icon redesign, the next change that was brought to the Maps app is the change in viewing image while choosing the type of map you want to navigate with. So on your left is the viewing image that was on iOS 15 beta 1, while on the right is the updated one with beta 2. Moving on, outfits for Memoji. The update brings in new clothing section for the Memoji that can be accessed by going to the Memoji section in iMessage, then tap edit and there you can see the newly added clothing section. And from here, you can just select the clothing that you want to rock in. Next up, share play in FaceTime. Finally, with this update, Apple brings in the ability to share play your screen during a FaceTime call for which all you have to do is just tap the share play icon and doing that will eventually start sharing your screen. And this feature is pretty cool as this will make hanging out or say watching a movie together with your friends over a FaceTime call possible. And this feature also works with the music app as well as the Apple TV app on your iPhone. Moving on, minute change in weather widget. Talking about the change in the weather widget, this update brings a slightly more detailed appearance to the weather widget. Like if you take a look closely, the widget on beta 1 that does not have the weather bar that has been added with this update. Next up, Siri and new icon. Talking about Siri, with beta 2 we can yet again tell Siri to set brightness of our iPhone. I know this was there in beta 1 also, but if for any reason you weren't able to do so, then this update will fix it. Also, with beta 2, Siri icon gets updated in the widget section when you wish to add the Siri widget to the home screen. Lastly, changes to notification summary. In the previous update, we weren't able to see the exact number of notifications we receive via apps installed on our iPhone. But now, with beta 2, it's possible. In the app and summary section, you will be able to see the notification numbers that you receive via the apps on daily basis. Rest of the changes include bug fixes and performance upgrades and stabilization to the iPhones that were running on beta 1. So with that being said, this is Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.